thought I would uh, give you a little peek of my vanity. And um, here is the IKEA mom dresser vanity. Then I've got the shelves. More of a decor piece, right? I mean, I put makeup on it and some decor. And then here I have my lipstick little turntable or whatever you want to call it. Like it's sort of like a lazy season, I guess. And I've got all my lipsticks, my Tom Fords, um, a few high-end lipsticks, Chanel, and then a lot of MAC. A lot of MAC. And here's just miscellaneous, just assorted. And here are two of my favorites. This one is um, by L'Oreal and it's number 910. It's Shining Peach. And the other one here, I think this is Maybelline. Yeah, it's Maybelline and it's 050 and it's Baddest Beige. Two pretty popular ones here. I've got some Charlotte Tilbury. Little drawers where I keep, you know, some paint pots like Painterly and What's the other one? Bare Study, some gel eyeliners, some eyelash glue, and here's some extra lipsticks, backups. And here I keep a bit of skincare. I've got my Prep and Prime face spray, my matte cleaner, and of course, the popular um, Better Than Sex mascara. And look at this beautiful packaging with the diamonds. I had to have it. Here I keep my eyelashes. Here I have a lot of the everyday makeup on my brushes, face brushes, my um, eye brushes, my lip liners, my concealers, and some uh, sponges, of course, and then the foundations. And I think my favorite one is the Dior. Then second to that, I would say it is the Laura Mercier, and of course you can't get it anymore. A sad silk cream foundation. But they're good ones. And this one's better for mature skin because it's got a little bit of a glow to it. And then in the summertime I use this Shiseido and it's it sports BB cream and it's 50 plus sunscreen so it's great in the summer and it doesn't come off. It's waterproof. Of course, you know, you take your, your wipes and it, it will come off. And here are some of my nicer um, Chanel powders and Laura Mercier powder and my Chanel Sa uh, Sol, what's it called? I always forget. Soleil Tan de Chanel, right? It's really a good highlight, um, a bronzer, because it's a cream bronzer. Here I have a few blushes, some Laura Mercier powders, and then I've got a new baby, and it's the Benefit um, Bronze palette and uh, it's a limited edition so if you want it you better go and get it and it's got the hula bronzer it's got the gold rush blush and then of course the cookie highlighter which is fantastic and it's like it's not shimmery it's not glittery sparkly it's got it's like a wet look so it's a it's a really good one and then the piece de resistance i just got it in the mail yesterday i waited a time for it and it's something that I I couldn't wait for and I love it and it's by um, Christian Audette and Lisa Lisa D1 um, she, she finally did it and she got her name on a lipstick and it's they're beautiful I think she designed them and chose the color and the first one is called the later one is Golden, dra uh, Golden Tiger, and the second one is Summer Nights, and it's a bit darker, but it's still a nude, and it's it's really nice. I can even wear it. And then a waterproof um, lip liner that's called Nude Sandals, and it's a really good one. It's a gel lip liner. See? There she is. Christian Audet and Lisa Lisa D1. And uh, I hope she starts, I hope she makes a, a few different shades, and I hope she goes to the pink colors because I'd love that as well. So when you open the drawers, 
I wish they made these drawers so they opened wider. I know that you can fix it, but it's a lot of work to get to take it apart and cut the wire, cut the the brackets inside. But anyway, one day. So here I keep my a little bit of everything and some of my eyeshadows by Burberry and Bobby Brown and some color pop gel pots that are really good, but you apply them with your finger. Otherwise it doesn't really show up. And some of my naked palettes, my Stila, Stila, I should say. They're like a, they're not, there's kind of a glittery sh sheen to the eyes. Those are good. My trusty old Mac. And then I've got some powders. Laura Mercier, a Mac one, some um, really nice blushes by Burberry. And one's called Peony Blush. Yeah, that'd be nice. I should have taken them out before. And the other one is called Earthy Blush. Let me just open that. It's not easy to open things with one hand. So those are my um, pr pretty popular ones that I use a lot. And I've got some bronzers. I've got, um, of course, my MAC Soft and Gentle, which I, I live for, instead of powder. And then this one's Maybelline Master Chrome, and it's a uh, rose gold highlighter. And it's a nice one when you are looking for something that's uh, more on the pink tone. And of course, I've got my my Becca one that everybody raves about. And it's, um, it's the one that Jaclyn Hill did, the Champagne Pop. And that's a really nice one. Of course, my contour, my Kirkland Whites, which I clean my makeup off with at nighttime. And here's a new product that I just bought not too long ago. And it's by Laura Geller, and it's a big body frosting, and it's sort of like a highlighter for your body. So that would be nice in the summer. I've never, I've never tried it. I'm so pale. I have to get a tan first, but that will give me a little bit of color. So moving on. So now I've got all my my face palettes here, and I've got my Narvina, which has got a gorgeous selection of eyeshadows. Some matte, and some shimmer and then I've got my sultry which I love I've got the uh, modern renaissance but I'm not that I'm not that keen on that one and then I've got my Too Faced natural eyes and natural matte which I love and my Tarte Linen Blue and then my Huda Beauty one which is nice too it's got a, a nice uh, selection of shimmers which of course they only they're better with your um, your fingertips when you use your fingers for that. And then I've got some blushes and highlighters over here, mostly MAC palettes. And I've got a couple of Anastasia highlighter palettes. And then I've got some of my lip glosses that I keep up here. So all in all, I think I have enough. I don't have that big of a collection, but I mean, I don't really collect it. I just buy what I like and... There you go. So, you know what, I'm gonna do a more in-depth um, video of maybe something like all the blushes that I have and test them on my hand and eyeshadows as well and um, the lipsticks and the liners. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, video and uh, I hope you all have a safe and happy weekend, uh, happy Easter. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.